Hello, guys. First of all, and thank you for taking time for this interview. Um, I would like for you all to um, introduce you just quickly what you do in the band, what's your name, okay. and how's tour been so far? Maybe I'll My name is Matthew, I play the bass and I'm the lead singer. Uh, the tour has been wonderful so far. My name is Adam, I play the guitar. Um, tour so far, um, yeah, it's, as Matt says, it's been brilliant, it's been a barrel of laughs. Hey, I'm Tom, I play the drums in our band, and there's sometimes percussion, and other things, and I've had a lovely time. It's been great. We've made lots of new fans, I think, and played some really sweet shows. So yeah, it's been great. Um, let's talk about the current album, Holy Doom. Um, it just came out a few days ago. What's the concept of the album and who mainly writes the songs? Just a little bit about the process and what you thought about it. Uh, the concept is kind of one where we were writing a lot of songs and it was um, they were they all they had this kind of vibe to them where it was this sweet melodic thing but we were writing a lot of heavy riffs um, and it it kind of just the the concept and was just born out of that really uh, we just wanted the name to end up reflecting that which I think it does but in terms of the writing we all just write together You know, I write the lyrics, but in terms of the the music and things, we write it all together. We just we we jam and play stuff and figure it all out. Okay. Most of the time, buried in a little cottage in Wales that we go to. So, yeah. Nice. So the concept is just something that comes along the way in the process. It's not something that you figure out before you start. I guess like it's not something that's like super we're super aware of at the start. But it's also it doesn't feel like it's just tacked on at the end. It feels like you kind of discover what you've been saying towards the back end of this process and find a way to put it into words more than like you aim for something or you try and uh, force two ideas together that don't go. It's kind of just working out what you've what you said. Um, I l really love the vibe of the album. I feel like that's something that you don't hear too often nowadays, or is kind of underrated. Yeah, and I do feel like it's kind of underrated. So I really love it. Um, what bands or which artists inspire you the most when it comes to this kind of stuff? Maybe you. Yeah, sure. Um, so we've said it a lot of times, but we're kind of influenced by like a lot of different artists and genres but primarily for this record we were really digging the sounds of like um, the 70s kind of like the dry drum sounds um, the harmonies of the Beatles but then kind of like yeah like fuzzy lining guitars and all of that um, but our influence is broad so yeah Uh, you've been a band for 10 years, is that right? I read that on Wikipedia, so I was not sure about it. Um, it says 2008, so... Okay. Uh, if you reflect back on those 10 years, you did lose one member, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you reflect on those 10 years, what, is, what were the big challenges? What did you learn during touring together, oh producing God. together. <laughs> so Good <many>. question. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we've um, learned the entire industry uh, because when we started we had no idea about anything and uh, we now we have a bit more. We didn't really have anyone to uh, teach us or anything like that, so we basically had to figure it out from the, you know, how e just simple things like how to get gigs, how to book gigs, how to, you know, and then all the way through to like, you know, all the stuff we do with like social media fucking bullshit planning and like we know pretty much the whole aspect of how everything works, which is great because it means that we'll never fall further than our own knowledge, you know some a lot of bands kind of have a lot done for them so they uh, yeah they they risk losing that 
Okay. But if you don't, then yeah. So I, I think we just learned, we just learned how everything works, really. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we basically we carried that ethos into into the relationships we have now in the industry. I think, okay. like, which sometimes we talk about this even this week. Sometimes it's difficult, but like, it's cool because we we like we n we know now how we want things to sound, to look, and to feel, and because we've been doing that ourselves for so long. You kind of like we kind of carried on doing that even in the context of being signed and having, you know, a good team around us. Um, but yeah, we've 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 learned a lot. We learned how like how to kind of get what we wanted for fuck all money, basically. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you know all kind of creative projects that span a long time are going to have their ups and downs and their difficulties. And um, we're not going anywhere, so yeah, we're going to crack on through those. Well, we do hope you're not going anywhere. Can we expect you back anytime soon or on tour or something? I mean, the album did just come out, so we do want to hear more. <laughs> Should be. Yeah, I think we're planning on coming back. Uh, the shows have been going so well that I think we're just going to book uh, our own headline run in Europe. You know, France, Germany, everywhere we've been, really. Um, I think even like Spain and stuff like that because there's a lot of people asking us to go down to Spain. Well, well we're from Austria, so... Ah. Well, there you go. Maybe... Definitely in the back of not Austria. <laughs> I think we'd made the decision to not oh, no, go to Austria. Yeah. Austria. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Just because <laughs> the, the, the people it, it just the worst. Oh, we can leave. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Yeah. Um, Did we play in Austria once? I think we played... No, we slept in Salzburg. We are from yes. Salzburg. Oh, really? Yeah. We went to the bank there. It was enormous. It was amazing. We were planning on like, seeing if we could play music to play for our beds. Salzburg is a little, not a big city, so it's difficult there. But Vienna, for example, mm -hmm. is a capital city. I've been, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been on holiday in Austria. Okay. It's a beautiful place. Well, we're waiting for you to play a show in Austria, so. <laughs> We, we'll I have back. it on tape, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you kind of said it, but what are your plans and goals for the future? Um, well, for the future, um, I think as soon as we're done this album tour of our own, we want to kind of get back to writing again. Because, I mean, even during this album, we left about 30, 40 songs behind that we didn't include and we're, every time we get into a room together we're constantly creating new ideas so that's something I know I want to start doing soon as, and it's the part that we all love the most as well um, but hopefully yeah, we'll be coming here more often to Europe to Austria um, and yeah just do more tours <laughs> yeah. Um, because you, wow, because you say <laughs> writing um, after this little tour here, is it hard to, you know, be like, now I gotta be creative and start writing new songs? Or do you just go with the flow and it's done when it's done? I mean, there is some pressure, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think we'll take a little break. I, I think we'll need to, because we're pretty tired already and we're, we, we've got to do the rest of this tour and then do our own tour. <laughs> um, but. We'll see, I think, depending on how busy we'll be this summer, we'll either dedicate it to festivals or just getting back and starting again, you know? So we we don't want to leave it, 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 we were forced to leave it like longer than we wanted to between yeah. this album and the first one, but we'll make sure that doesn't happen again, yeah. Just because we don't, we don't want it to be that long. Okay, mm. yeah. Well, festivals, we do have Nova Rock in Austria, never heard of that. It's a no, huge festival no, no. in Austria. Yeah, tell them, tell it's them always in June. Tell so, them, tell them, tell them. do you know anyone there? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> we will play it though. We'll you may it. know someone there, right? <laughs> 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 um, I think that's the end of the questions. Do you have anything to say to your fans or anything you want to get off your chest? <laughs> Think. Thank you, everyone, for getting behind the album, watching, listening, and supporting us. Um, yes. It's it's great. Um, we love making music. We love that everyone loves it. So yeah. yeah. And if you haven't listened to our music yet, 
what the fuck are you doing? Just listen to it. It's really good. Well, thank you. And I do wish you all the best for your future and that you come back to Austria so I can interview you in Austria the next time. Yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Peace yeah.